Coach Rule said that was the best game the line played maybe all year last week. I mean, what, what jumped out about the performance of the line play? I know you guys lost, but what, what were some of the highlights for you guys? Uh, yeah, I thought that we did a good job of finishing on our guys. You know, uh, we got challenged last week not to be outworked. And uh, we came into this week with that mindset. It's like, no one's going to outwork us. So that started with practice, preparation, and uh, just brought that to the game. And I thought we did a good job with that. Like you have your feet under you now with a few games at that, that spot. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> first game, you know, shaking off some rust from that tackle position. But, uh, you know, I feel like I'm comfortable now. And, you know, I'm seeing the defense a lot more clearly. So, you know, making communication or making calls that we need to make. And it's just, you know, each game you got to get better and better. So it's something to always improve on. How reliable has Ben Scott been, you know, just as the command center of that line? Yeah, it's, I mean, he's done a really good job, you know, coming in here and getting in with us and, you know, uh, hanging out with us. And that's something that <clears throat> Coach Rail always preaches is, you know, staying together and, when you have a center who has the personality that he has, it just helps with you know, you know, the calls that he's making on the field a lot. So he's done a good job of taking that center leadership role. Teddy, it's pretty clear that um, a big emphasis on Coach Rule and, and what he wanted to bring to this program was um, resources for players, uh, and, and as far as your health and your, your recovery ability, um, with avoiding injury, avoiding re-injury. Um, what have you seen in, in that? from that area and how have you benefited from everything that's available to you guys in the new building? Yeah, um, well, they've done a good job, you know, bringing the right guys in here. You know, uh, Mitch and Hobbs, they've done a real good job of, uh, you know, kind of watching out for signs of potential risk or something like that. So when I was coming back from my shoulders, like certain things I couldn't do, they're like, all right, we're just going to come over here and we have a super fun thing called the pit, where if you're an injured guy, you're going to go over there and you're going to keep working out. So. I mean, you're not just sitting on the side, but you're still getting work while you're down or while you're out. But you know, with this new building, the recovery things in there are insane. <laughs> so uh, just being able to you know, you know, build a relationship with those guys, talk to them, ask them, you know, what can I do to you know, benefit myself or what can I do to prevent injury? And they're gonna walk you through it, teach you those things and coach you up on that. So it's been real good. What, what have you taking advantage of what, what, what kind of the technology or uh, yeah so uh, we got the huge cold tub I'm always in there uh, we got red light beds uh, compression boots you know uh, new thera guns you know just massage things out they got whole new uh, training room in there too that you know a bunch of new equipment in there that we can use to you know build strength in certain parts of your body so I've just kind of been sh smorgasbord just use it all it's been the key for this team to be able to reset, whether it's a win or a loss, you know, just go back to work the next Sunday, Monday. Yeah, those Sunday meetings, I mean, they're always better after a win. They always feel a bit better because, you know, you're going to take that coaching. But uh, after losses, I mean, we don't, he doesn't, coach rule doesn't change. He's going to come in and, you know, you could win a game. Here's what we've got to improve on because it's going to show up later. Uh, you lose a game. This is why we lost, but we have to be able to improve on those things. And uh, just coming in with that mindset of, all right, this is what they, this is what they beat us on. We got to take that in and improve on that and other things outside of that in the next week. What was it like to have Ethan on the sidelines this week? Good. Um, we were getting off the buses and I looked at my phone quick. I saw that uh, we got a text saying that he was going to be in the Unity Walk for us. So that, that was pretty cool seeing him there and uh, <clears throat> having him on the sideline. You know, he's just a high energy guy. And to see him down and out like this, it sucks. But he's going to come in. When he's here, he's going to be the same old pipe, just you know, a little bit limited with his motion. So him on the sideline helping us out, trying to, you know, I went up to him a couple times to ask some questions about protections and stuff. He's like, all right, if they do doing this, you can do this and make this call. So, you know, it's just help, uh, you know, an extra set of eyes with an experienced guy like him. You have three quarterbacks working through injury and turnovers and things. What can your role be as an offensive lineman to, to show support and be there? For the you know, just, you know, just tell them, be there with them. Like, we got you. We're going to, you know, protect our ass off to make sure that you have clean pockets and stuff like that. Um, you just, you know, kind of support them through it. And they're all working super hard. And mm -hmm. I trust all of them to do, you know, do their job and get it, get it done. So, you know, just kind of be there for them and talk to them a little bit.
What do you think of the toughness Nuri has shown? I mean, he only missed one week due to that injury, coming right back out here playing the whole game again. Yeah, I know. Nuri's a, <laughs> he's a hard-headed guy. And I, I kind of I kind of laughed for a second when he first told me that he's going to be back in a week. Like, he got the surgery and he came back. He's like, yeah, I could probably practice Thursday. I was like, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure you're going to do that? And he's like, yeah, I'm going to do it. So, you know, it just – that just shows how much like care he has for this program and other guys that are just battling, battling, battling to try and get back. Uh, Marquise Buford battled all season to get back, and Nuri's just kind of one of those guys that he's going to do what it takes to get back on the field. Talk about Wisconsin. Just yeah. this game is kind of a rivalry. There's a trophy in line. Mm -hmm. What do you know about the Badgers and kind of the history of the series? Nebraska's never won in Madison since they joined the conference. Yeah, um, I mean, they're a tough team, and you know. Coach Donnie told us about how the you know the, their backstory of being a tough team and how they kind of modeled back in the '90s based off what Nebraska was doing. Um, we're I mean we're going in with you know mindset of we got to out physical you know just be more dominant on the on the offensive line side of things and we know that they're going to be bringing some pressures but we just got to be able to have our eyes up focus and make the adjustments that we need to make. Does he talk about his time at Wisconsin a lot with you guys? <laughs> He'll tell us some stories and stuff, but you know he doesn't go into too much detail. But from the sounds of it, he uh, he had a good time there, and you know he, you know, represented well. Did you learn anything from all the stuff that was up in the locker room about the, the Nebraska Wisconsin rivalry? Um, I mean, I haven't got a chance to look at it yet, but uh, I saw some things hanging up, so I was probably going to go through and look at those. I saw some. I was asking this morning. I was like, what, "What's that about?" But I saw the trophy. I was like, "Oh yeah, this is a trophy game." So yeah, I'll go read up on that. Do you know what the name of the trophy is? It's the uh, it's a Liberty Trophy, right? Or something? No? Close? Close. Close. No. Yeah. What is it? I don't know. Freedom. Freedom Trophy. Oh, yeah. You know, it's just a game, so yeah. we're just going to go in there with that mindset. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you.